What's up guys, Nam here and today I'll be reviewing the Bank of America Cash Rewards credit card. I had this credit card for a little bit over a year now and had a few people in the comments asking me about my thoughts on this card but I was like hey, I had this card, why not give this card a review? So at the making of this video, the current promotional offer is $200 after you spend $1000 within the first 3 months. Promotional offers do change from time to time so just double check just to make sure if the offer is still current. I have also heard stories around the internet stating that to get the Santa bonus you must apply online so if you do decide to apply for this credit card while you're in branch, you probably won't get it. So $200 after spending $1000 is about a return of 20% which is a pretty good ROI compared to most sign-on bonuses. So now let's talk about the cash back rewards. With this credit card, you earn 3% cash back in the category of your choice. So this includes gas, online shopping, dining, travel, drug stores, or home improvement and furnishing stores. The thing about the 3% cash back is that you can only change your category once a month. I personally don't think this is much of a bad thing since most credit cards that have rotating categories, they do it quarterly. So having the ability to change categories every single month make the cash back way more flexible than otherwise. But what really appeals to me is the 3% cash back on online shopping. I do most of my shopping through Amazon anyways and I do have an Amazon Prime Rewards Visa so that doesn't really help me there. But I haven't found that many credit cards that offer 3% cash back on online purchases elsewhere. The majority of the time, online purchases usually count as 1% of most credit card offers. This credit card also offers 2% cash back at grocery stores and wholesale clubs which also includes Sam's Club, BJ's, and Costco. That's one thing that I also found that's pretty interesting. There's really not that many credit cards that offer 2% cash back at wholesale clubs. The only other one that I really know of is the Costco Anywhere Visa which I recently reviewed but the 2% cash back at wholesale clubs? It's a pretty legit deal. And lastly, this credit card earns 1% cash back on all other purchases. So one of the biggest disadvantages with this card is that you can only earn 3 and 2% cash back on the first $2,500 in combined bonus categories each quarter. And the rest, you only earn 1%. So when you really think about it, if you were to maximize that 3% on a specific category per quarter, the max you can earn is $75. And that's only if you go to $2,500, then after that, it would just be 1%. So $75 times 4, that equals to $300 in cash back if you were to maximize that $2,500 per quarter. So when you do decide to redeem your cash back, the redemption on the credit card is quite simple. So you must hit the minimum $25 threshold and then you can either get a statement credit or a direct deposit into your Bank of America checking or savings account. Also you can set up automatic redemption so you won't even have to do it manually. But let's move on to something else. Also doing the research on this specific credit card, I also found that this card is actually one of the easiest credit cards to get first. I heard from multiple stories that no credit history is needed and as long as you have a Bank of America checking account, it is pretty easy to get approved for this card. Also with this credit card, this is one of the few cards that don't require a social security number. Of course when you apply for this credit card online, they will ask you for a social security number but let's say that you're an international student, it is very possible to go inside of a branch and get approved for this card. This credit card is worth keeping for the long term because this credit card does not have any annual fees. Another reason why you may be interested in this card is that there is 0% APR for the first 15 months. So if you're in a market for a big purchase but you want to have some time to pay it off, this may be a good option for you. But if you've been a fan of this channel for a little while now, you know how I feel about paying down your credit card debt, I would never advise on making a purchase that you could not pay in cash outright. Another thing to think about is that this credit card is not a good card to travel abroad with because this credit card will charge you foreign transaction fees. So while you're in the US, this is a perfect cash back card but when you're traveling abroad, think about other cards that you have in your lineup. Even though this credit card is not a travel card, they do have a few benefits with this card. You can get extended warranty which doubles your manufacturer warranty up to an extra year. You can also get car rental insurance. If your car rental is damaged or totaled, this car can reimburse you in excess of your company's insurance policy. So right now I'm going to talk about the application process with this card. As I mentioned earlier, with this credit card, you can get this card without a social security number and no credit history. So if this pertains to you, go inside of a branch to open up a checkings or a saving account then apply for this card. As with most banks who have unwritten guidelines of how many cards you can apply for, Bank of America is no different. Bank of America has this 2, 3, 4 rule. So what this rule or guideline means is that Bank of America will only approve for you at most 2 cards per 2 months, 3 cards per 12 months, and 4 cards per 24 months. Bank of America also used to allow you to have multiple of the same credit cards within a certain period. 
but it's a little bit more strict than it used to be. You can't have a repeat of this card unless you had the card for at least two years. So now let's take a look at how this card compares to other cards that have similar features. So probably the most common starting point with this credit card comparison will be the City Double Cashback card. This credit card offers 2% cash back on all purchases. So let's run some quick math to see how it compares. So here's an example of what someone may spend any given month. $300 on gas, $300 on groceries, $300 on eating out, $500 on other expenses such as utilities, clothes, personal, gym or phone bill, $200 on travel. So that would be $1,600 total of expenses per month. So with the Bank of America card, you get $9 on gas, $6 on groceries, $3 on eating out, and $5 on other expenses, and also $2 on travel. Since the other categories, I only give them a 1% because I already maxed out the 3% for gas. And for the travel, I estimated $2,400 per year on travel. So that comes out to be $25 per month, and that will equal to $300 per year in cash back. Of course, this number may change if you have a larger balance with Bank of America, or you switch categories every month when you know you have a large expense, but I just kept it like this just for simplicity. So now let's take a look at the City Double Cash Back card. So since everything is 2% cash back, $1,600 times 2% is $32. So $32 per month equals to $384 per year. So since the City card is just a 2% cash card on everything, you can see how this credit card can still outperform cards that have rotating categories. Of course, probably within the first year of the Bank of America Cash Rewards card, it will still outperform the City card just due to the fact that there is a sign up bonus with that card. So within the first year, you will get about $500 cash back with the Bank of America card. But if you were to keep this card consecutively for multiple years, the City Double Cash Back card will outperform this card by far. Another credit card that the Bank of America Cash Rewards card can be compared to is the American Express Blue Cash Everyday card. With this credit card, there is no annual fee as this is a reasonable card to compare it to. So with the reward structure with this credit card, you get 3% cash back at supermarkets up to $6,000 per year, 2% on gas in department stores, and 1% on everything else. So with the Amex, you get $6 on gas, $9 on groceries, $3 on eating out, $5 on other expenses. This may fluctuate since there is a specific list of the department stores that get 2%, but for simplicity's sake, I just say that you don't shop at any of these stores. $2 on travel, so for cash back, that would be $25, so per year it will be $300. As you can see here from a comparison standpoint, the Blue Cash Everyday card is one of those cards that's almost identical to the Bank of America card. So during this comparison, I kind of favor the Bank of America credit card just a little bit more since you do have some more options that you can earn 3% cash back. But if you truly want a cash back card, City Double Cash Back still trumps both of them. Final thoughts. I'm going to say that the Bank of America Cash Rewards card is a fairly decent credit card. Getting 3% cash back on online shopping is a pretty good deal since most credit card companies will categorize online shopping as an other expense. But the cap on 3% at 2500 per quarter is pretty small. But again, this is an entry level credit card. So if you're new to credit cards, it really shouldn't matter to you. Where this credit card stands out is that it's fairly easy to get approved for since you don't have to have any credit or a social security number. Also, the $200 Santa bonus is a pretty nice touch. But from a strict cash back card point of view, I'm gonna say that the City Double Cash Back card will be a better option for most people. All right guys, so that does it for me. If you guys wanna learn more about credit cards and personal finance, come hang out with me some more over here.